Hello, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I am an emergency physician and in this patient education video, we're going to talk about strokes. Strokes is a term medical providers use to describe brain injury that results from a problem with the blood flow. Either the blood flow got stopped or clotted off in the artery, causing ischemia or low oxygen, le less blood flow to that area of the brain, or the artery providing that area of the brain with oxygen and nutrients and blood leaked, causing a bleed. Therefore, there are two kinds of strokes, ischemic, which is when there's a clot that stops blood flow, or hemorrhagic, when there's a leak of blood in that area of the brain. Let's go ahead and talk how strokes affect people. And the answer is difficult because strokes affects people in many different ways. It, the symptoms of a stroke will depend on the area of the brain that is affected and how quickly the stroke is diagnosed and treated. Some people who have a stroke have no lasting effects and other lose important brain functions. For example, some people become partially paralyzed or unable to speak. Stroke is one of the leading causes of death and disability in the world. How can you tell if someone's having a stroke? Well, there's an easy way to remember the signs of a stroke. Just think of the word FAST. Each letter of FAST stands for something. Face is the F part of the word. Does the patient's face look uneven or a droop on one side? A stands for arm. Does the person have weakness or numbness in one or both arms? Does one of the arms drift down if the person tries to hold both arms out? And speech. Is the person having trouble speaking? Does his or her speech sound strange, heavy, or slurred? And the last letter is T for time. If you notice any t signs of stroke, you must call an ambulance and seek emergency attention and care as time is of essence in stroke treatment. Every minute counts. The more time treatments delay, the more likely it will be permanent damage and prolonged uh, injury to the brain tissue. So how are strokes treated? The treatment depends on what kind of stroke you're having. You need to get to the hospital quickly in order to get treated and diagnosed appropriately. People whose strokes are caused by clogged arteries can get treatment to help reopen the clogged arteries. These treatments can help you recover from a stroke. You can get medicines that prevent new blood clots. These medicines can also help prevent future strokes. People whose strokes are caused by bleeding may have treatments that might reduce the amount of damage caused by the bleeding in or around the brain. And ultimately, they can have surgery to repair the bleeding or leaking blood vessel and stop the bleeding. This is not always possible to be done, but it's an option for some people with hemorrhagic strokes. Can strokes be prevented? Many strokes can be prevented, but not all of them. You can greatly lower your chance of having a stroke by taking your medicines exactly as directed. Medicines that are specifically uh, important in preventing strokes are blood pressure medicines, medicines called statins, which lower cholesterol, medicines help to prevent clots such as aspirin and blood thinners, medicines that help keep your blood sugar as close to normal as possible, especially if you're diabetic, and then making the following lifestyle changes. If you smoke, quit. Get regular exercise. If your doctor says it's safe for at least 30 minutes a day, most days of the week. Lose weight if you're overweight. Eat a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and low fat dairy products, and low in meats, sweets, and refined grains, such as white bread or white rice. Eat less salt or sodium, and limit the amount of alcohol you drink. Another way to prevent strokes is to have surgery to reopen clogged arteries in the neck if there's an obstruction. This surgery is appropriate only for a subset of people who are at risk for strokes. We shouldn't talk about strokes and not talk about TIAs. TIA stands for Transient Ischemic Attack. A TIA is like a stroke, it's the same kind of symptoms, but does not result in permanent damage to the brain. TIA happens when an artery in the brain gets clogged 
or closes off, but then reopens on its own. This can happen if a blood clot forms, but then moves away or dissolves. Even though TIAs do not cause lasting symptoms, they are serious. If you have a TIA, you have a much higher risk of having a fully developed stroke. It is important that you see a doctor and take the steps to prevent that from happening. Do not ignore the symptoms of a stroke, even if they go away. Again, my name is Dr. Carl Oger. I am an emergency physician, and I put together this medical education video for you. To find other medical videos like this one, go to patienteducation.video. Thank you.